our DOP, James Friend, uh, ASC, BSC, etc., he said, Mike, would you like to direct this little uh, film? You've got just over two minutes. And that was the, the joy for me of trying to show off the amazing ability of the camera. I mean, one of the first things we did was to shoot underwater. Oh, I was very keen to shoot underwater, which is why um, I approached Mike Valentine to bring his sort of expertise. So uh, a lot can be said for putting a camera in an airtight box. In our little film, I found this, it's like an emergency flare that if you're on a sinking boat or in real trouble, you can fire this flare and it'll run for about five or six hours. But when I found that flare, which is waterproof down to 10 meters, I thought, how can we build that into the story to show the beautiful red being recorded? And it was, uh, it was it's, it's like most people with any successful film or project. There's always luck involved, and we were lucky to find this waterproof torch. I cannot recommend too highly the having not just read about it in one of the magazines, but to actually use this in a drone, underwater, on land, sunrise, sunset, night, day, all within a two-minute film. Well, we've really pushed the boundaries, and. Ari should be applauded for making such a wonderful device. For me, the most exciting thing about this camera is that it's a, it's a brand new sensor. That's the, that's the groundbreaking new element to, the, to this camera that, uh, that separates it from the rest at the moment. For me, one of the most important aspects of the camera is its amazing ability within the sensitivity specification. I mean, during the um, sunshine, when we had it, this is England, but to be able to have the pure sun and then still have an exposure of a guy wearing a black shirt and black trousers on the edge of the beach, where the sea acts as a mirror for the bright sun, all in one wide shot. I thought, well, I shouldn't even really ask James to set that shot up because I thought it would push the system too hard. The guys put the camera up, I looked at the monitor, I looked in the viewer, and I was just like, this opens us up to have a completely new beginning to the film. And that's why with our little film, we started just on pebbles, so that as the sea washes over the individual pebbles, each one became a little mirror, over thousands of them, became a little mirror for the sun, still beautifully exposed. Now, I think the main def defining aspect of this camera is the two and a half, the extra two and a half stops exposure. Um, and I, and it, it enables you to be a little bit more daring with your exposure as well. Um, and, you know, more information is, 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 a, is a good thing. We're not, I'm not talking about just resolution, I'm talking about actually capturing more, more information. And, um, you know, some of the most interesting uh, scenes that, that I feel like relate to me or within an image are always ones that, that tend to have contrast within the frame. And I'm not just talking about, um, I'm not talk, just talking about lighting, I'm talking about, you know, a, a silhouette, for example, or, um, you know, the, a good balanced image should be able to have the darkest of dark and the, the brightest of, of, of highlights. And, and th this enables you to sort of responsibly and very creatively capture um, these sort of images and sleep a little bit better at night, but also be a little bit more daring with, uh, w with your visual storytelling, really. We had the guy um, cutting. Now, the incredible intensity of this light, any DOP would love, because you know you're going to get the light into his eyes. You've got this sort of illumination, which is the same sort of intensity as like a welding torch, which normally would, would clip very, very quickly um, and would actually be very hard to expose for. What, what, where do you actually place your exposure? Do you place it for uh, the actor's face or do you expose for the torch? Or naturally, obviously, you have to put it somewhere in the middle. And what was really nice is the light was very interactive. So, um, so it, would be go, it would go up and down, up and down. The very centre of the, of the torch would 
would naturally clip, but it clipped in a very cosmetic way, something that looked very, very, very pleasing on camera. Interesting part was our night shoot. I mean, we pushed that camera to its very technical limits and lit with just the flames from a fire so that when the boy and the girl join, we can see detail behind them and still expose them from only the flame. But the new low light um, ISO um, functions on this camera are absolutely unbelievable. And we, we shot a scene on a beach where the, she's walking towards him and it's all lit by fire. It was all, all we used to actually light it. Um, I put the uh, ISO at 6400 on the low noise setting, which normally, you know, would would scare would scare me a little bit, and you know, I, it's, I don't think my my light meter's ever been at that at that setting before. Um, so um, and my eye obviously has never been to that setting before. The, the camera can see in the dark, so people were sort of walking around on set like, where, where are we going? Where are we going? But because it, it was so bloody dark, but the uh, on the monitor we still had. A, a brilliant exposure and now having the confidence that I can actually do that and when the light is going down I can I can say to the director with confidence and the AD and production you know, we can we can still keep on shooting you know and and also the actors you know um, and or yes we can go again yeah no we haven't lost the light that for me was one of the, the most staggering um, aspects grading process it just was another step forward revealing the ability of this beautiful camera. There's, there's one thing being on set and looking through a viewfinder and looking at a monitor, um, but it's really when you, you kind of open the image up and you can see what is in there. And we had the ability to flick between HDR and SDR, and the HDR um, was, was staggering, actually. Um, the, 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 the information that was in there um, completely blew me away. The textures that are inbuilt in the camera which you can select through are absolutely fascinating for me. Um, I, I ended up using uh, only one texture which was the night um, look um, and I ended up shooting the rest of it quite clean and quite default because I, and I did that on purpose because actually I wanted to manipulate things more in the grade and it was more for my own um, my own curiosity, really. Uh, I must say, I did see one of the other films that had uh, a uh, the the nostalgia or nostalgic texture, and I got very jealous because it looked absolutely spectacular. Um, something which would be very hard to to um, actually apply in the grade. With this camera, uh, from my, the bottom of my heart, it is absolutely an amazing step forward to get closer. All we want to do is connect our stories directly with the audience. This camera allows us to get as close as possible. I would, um, I would happily recommend this camera to any DP of any, of any level, um, of, of any experience. I've shot on most of the digital cameras available on the, on the market at the moment, and it is, for me, it's the best sensor ever, ever made, best digital sensor ever made for motion picture.